97.9, 105.5 KISS FM. It's Big Papa and Banna on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. He will be live at the Jorgensen Event Center at MVCC this Saturday. The one, the only, Mr. Rob Schneider. Rob, good morning, man. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks Great. Thanks for uh, for getting up early, man. Uh, it's, the Jorgensen Center? Is that where I'm going to be? Yeah, the Jorgensen Event Center. Jorgensen Event Center. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah. Ready. It, it's a it's a it's a brand new facility. It's like maybe two years old or something like that, and uh, it's definitely going to be a good time. And a lot of people, a lot of buzz about the show coming up. Good, I'm excited. Looking forward to getting out there, buddy. Absolutely. So uh, it seems like you know what's funny. You know when you show up on screen, it's like oh my god. You know it's one of those like oh my god moments when you when you make a cameo here, there, and ever. There's a thin line though, <laughs> Big Papa, where the- there's uh, hey, there's that guy towards. Oh, there's that guy again. No, you know that, what I, mean? <laughs> I just that, hope I'm not getting too close to that. Oh, there's that guy again. No, you know? no normally that's what I get when I show up places. Oh, it's him again. Oh. Usually my wife's the one who says that. Oh, no, there's that guy. No, normally I'm saying that about Gary. As oh, as I, as I walk in as I walk in anywhere. Oh God! But but you're you know you've been able to like do so many things between the movie stuff and the touring around and you know you got the comedy specials and directing like you've been able to do so much. I don't know. I think I could do more, but <laughs> things have changed though. I tell you, after Adrian Peterson, the NFL, you know, just the good old days when you could take a stick and hit a kid and. With it, those days are over, Big Papa. It, it really, it truly is. I don't know about yeah, you. You can't hit a kid in, this, in the nuts with a stick anymore. I know you can't do it anymore. Because has good anyone? Old days are gone. I know. Has anybody seen the movie? Like, what was that called? Jacksons? The Jacksons? Oh yeah. The, the... Nobody's seen the movie called The Jacksons. No one, no one can go and get a switch anymore. I don't know no, about those you. Days are gone. I don't know about you, but I used to have a, a wooden spoon cracked over my rear end on that the was regular. Me. That was me. Yeah, those days are gone. Getting oh. up in the morning, and hitting the kid in the. <laughs> Not anymore. Rob Schneider of the Lennox Jewelers Hotline. He'll be at the Jorgensen Event Center this Saturday at MVCC. Details, mvcc.edu. You can follow him. That's got to be some like a Nordic or something like that. Yeah. Jorgensen? Yeah. It's, it's got to be Swedish. It's a, yeah, it's the Jorgensen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why the, you know, or, or, you know, in Finland, you know, that's only got to be a Finnish name. You know, that's why in Finland the highest, excuse me, the highest suicide rate in the world is in Finland. You know, because nobody takes them seriously when they say they're going to yump out the window. <laughs> you can follow. You can follow Rob uh, on Twitter. Um, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, yeah. Lots. Yeah. Ble- nice man, club up there. Bless it. Bless you. Bless you, dude. And, you. I mean, you were. If this if this were the '80s, man, you'd be losing money like a son of a gun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> This was the late eighties. <laughs> um, do you? What is best? What is more fulfilling for you? Is it? Uh, is it getting uh, the the reaction of a live audience? Is it coming up with something and hearing you know your work in a movie and getting their reaction uh, on a film? Or you know what's what does it for you? Uh, well, you know what? That's a good question. Usually, whenever whatever's going good, you know, sometimes a, a movie that's really fun and you have to wait a year for it to come out, that's exciting, but you have to wait a year. Whereas, you know, you can write a joke and then you find out this weekend if it's funny. And that's, that live audience thing's pretty exciting, but uh, making a movie's fun too. You know, I mean, it's just whatever's going good, you know, and um, I also, you know, I'm enjoying directing. It's fun. So writing is uh, is fun. It's just, you know, the thing is you have to, Follow what uh, what is most uh, exciting for you, what, what you're enjoying, and, and, uh, and not necessarily like what's going to be the most profitable. You know, this culture just you know teaches us the wrong thing sometimes. You know, the, whatever you're doing that excites you the most, that's what you should be doing. You know, it's... And don't worry worry about the money. You know, and uh, I think that's a, a better way to do it. You know, sometimes you you know you compare yourself to other people. You, you and when you compare, you despair. You know, just I enjoy, I enjoy myself. I, I know stand up's been well, I started out as a stand-up, so I'm excited about doing it again. And you, know, you could write jokes about you know the government spying on you, and you know about Obama, and make fun of that, and see how people feel about it. And that's pretty cool because sometimes they don't know how the audience hasn't decided how they feel about that. So it's kind of nice when you 
kind of help them get to a place. You know, comedy is really nice and subversive that way. Absolutely. You can help manipulate people to your point of view. <laughs> talking to talking to Rob Schneider on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. He'll be at the Jorgensen Event Center coming up on Saturday. Details and for tickets, mvcc.edu. Um, th- one of the things that uh, that you touched on, uh, what what always uh, stuck with me was uh, comedy and especially stand up is the world through your point of view, through your jaded point of view, whoever whoever the stand up is. Do you agree? Yeah, it is. You know, I mean, it really started out the art form kind of is an American thing, just like jazz. Uh, with Tom, you know, Mark Twain is the guy who really, you know, he went around when he was broke. He would, you know, he lost his money several different times, and it was a, you know, maybe the greatest, right? The only author ever who had a a, a book released a hundred years after his death. You know, pretty amazing guy, and uh, he would go around and, you know, before people could travel on planes, and you know, whether it was very unique to travel, he would, you know, make notes and then go around to these little uh, union halls or uh, libraries or whatever, and then tell these stories. Uh, and with that jokes and that was basically the beginning of stand-up comedy you know and then uh, really kind of before vaudeville and everything that's very cool that's very and then cool. uh, you know you've got guys who kind of tradition you know to keep that tradition going bill cosby he was in syracuse the other day the same night with me you know and the bill cosby's a genius you know he really is incredible so you got and it worked its way to seinfeld and then uh so it's cool i mean it's kind of taken off like in other countries too you know, in uh, Norway and Finland and Sweden, they got American stand-ups who, you know, who can't sell out here and sell out 2,000-seat rooms there, you know? That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah, so it's uh, it's pretty fun, you know, but uh, it is nice to be able to, like, take an idea, like, uh, you know, whatever's happening during the day and then see how, how people react to it later that night. Sure. Rob Schneider on the Lennon Jewelers Hotline this Saturday, MVCC, the Jorgensen Event Center, mvcc.edu for all the details, and uh, at Rob Schneider for, uh, to follow him on Twitter as well. Um, what's going on with you and Netflix? You got a lot of stuff going on up there, right? Well, I, you know, I get my new TV show called Real Rob, and hopefully they'll, uh, I'm not 100% sure where it's going to end up yet. We're still editing it. But, you know, we're still working it out. It's kind of nice. I had, like, a, you know, um, a comedy special called, uh, you know, uh, uh, Soy Sauce in the Holocaust. Because, you know, I, my dad was Jewish. My mom's Filipino. It's like the perfect storm of <laughs> small penises. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm my sorry. Like, Soy Sauce in the Holocaust. <laughs> and uh, it's cool, you know, because, uh, like, you, you just write jokes about stuff. that Like, a lot of my jokes when I first started was about my mom. My, you know, and... Um, you know, when I first started, it was, um, my mom used to call me up when I, when I moved out when I was, you know, a younger man, and she used to call me up, you know, around this time, she'd go, Robert, this is your mom, you know, and like, you know, I wouldn't have no idea where that Filipino voice has been haunting me my whole life. <laughs> your mom, set your clock back, this is mom, set your clock back, I'm like, you know. Who else would be calling me to tell me to set my clock back? You know? <laughs> Rob, this is your eighth grade gym coach, Mr. Bauman. I know we haven't talked in a while, but set your clock back. <laughs> Don't forget to wear a cup. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so, you know, and I still think about that stuff. Like, and uh, my mom, um, the only thing I really remember from my childhood is my mom yelling at me, you know, see what happens? You know, running around the house, you fell down, see what happens? You broke that, see what happens? No rough house in the house, see what happens? You hurt yourself. See what happens? I remember we were playing basketball about three miles away from the house. Somebody twisted an ankle. All of a sudden, you hurt. See what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Rob Snyder on the Lennon's Jewelers Outline this Saturday at, uh, at MVCC, mvcc.edu for details. Before you go, this is the quick six. Six questions, 60 seconds. Let's everyone get to know a little bit more about you, all right? Okay, buddy. All right, here we go. Two shows on your TVR right now. Uh, Breaking Bad. Uh, I'm waiting several years to finish it because I really love the show. And um, that Oliver show on HBO. Favorite toy as a child? Baseball cards. Nice. Nice. Um, you're on a road trip. You know, you're know, you a comedian. You're on a road trip. You stop at the convenience store. What are your go-to snacks? Go-to snacks? Dried fruit and uh, <laughs> um, raw nuts. My own. Favorite body part of the opposite sex? Um... Uh, back 
back uh, rear end to the upper legs area. Very nice. <laughs> favorite, Very top. favorite toy as an adult? Um, my Lamborghini. Fa- uh, best stand up out right now? Bill Burr. Absolutely. Rob Schneider, this Saturday at the Jorgensen Event Center at MVCC. Uh, can't wait to see you, man. It's going to be a great show, and uh, travel safe. We'll see you on Saturday, all right? Thanks so much. I appreciate it. You a- guys take care. Absolutely. You too. Rob Schneider, make sure you follow him on Twitter, at Rob Schneider. We're going to break, come back, Big Papa and Banna on KISS FM.